Paul Gisheru is criminally responsible under Article 25.3a as a direct co-perpetrator or alternatively under Article 25.3b for solicitation and or inducement of the crime of corruptly influencing a witness by paying witness P397 1 million Kenyan shillings and by offering to pay the witness 5 million Kenyan shillings in order to influence the witness to withdraw as a prosecution witness committed from April 2013 to January 2014 and at Eldoret, Kenya. Count two, corruptly influencing a witness. Article 71C of the statute, read in conjunction with articles 25.3a or alternatively 25.3b of the statute. Paul Kisheru is criminally responsible under Article 25.3a as a direct co-perpetrator or alternatively under Article 25.3b for solicitation and or inducement of the crime of corruptly influencing a witness by offering or paying witness P516 a bribe of at least 500,000 Kenyan chilens in order to influence the witness to withdraw as a prosecution witness committed in April and May 2013 and at Eldoret, Kenya. Count three, corruptly influencing a witness. Article 71C of the statute, read in conjunction with articles 25.3a or alternatively 25.3b of the statute. Paul Gisheru is criminally responsible under Article 25.3a as a direct co-perpetrator or alternatively under Article 25.3b for solicitation and or inducement of the crime of corruptly influencing a witness by offering to pay witness P613 a bribe and a job offer inducement in order to influence the witness to withdraw as a prosecution witness, committed from April to September 2013 and inter alia at Alderet, Kenya. Count four, corruptly influencing a witness. Article 71C of the statute, read in conjunction with articles 25.3a or alternatively 25.3b of the statute. Paul Gisheru is criminally responsible under Article 25.3a as a direct co-perpetrator or alternatively under Article 25.3b for solicitation and or inducement of the crime of corruptly influencing a witness by offering to pay witness P. 800, a bribery payment of between 1,500,000 and 2,500,000 Kenyan chilens in order to influence the, influence the witness to withdraw as a prosecution witness committed in or around July 2013 and inter alia in Kenya. Count five, corruptly influencing a witness, Article 71C of the statute, read in conjunction with Articles 25.3a or alternatively 25.3b of the statute. Paul Kisheru is criminally responsible under Article 25.3a as a direct co-perpetrator or alternatively under Article 25.3b for solicitation and or inducement of the crime of corruptly influencing a witness by offering witness P495 
a bribery payment of two and a half million Kenyan chilians and a job offer inducement in exchange for the witness's withdrawal as a prosecution witness. Committed in or around September 2013 in Kenya. Count six. Corruptly influencing a witness, Article 71C of the statute, read in conjunction with Articles 25.3a or alternatively 25.3b of the statute. Paul Guicheru is criminally responsible under Article 25.3a as a direct co-perpetrator or alternatively under Article 25.3b for solicitation and or inducement of the crime of corruptly influencing a witness by offering witness P536 a bribery payment of at least 1 million Kenyan chilians, or at least 1 million and 400,000 Kenyan chilians, in exchange for the witnesses withdrawal as a prosecution witnesses committed from May to August 2013. Thank you, Your Honor. Judge Alapini, thank you very much, courtroom officer. We shall continue as to the verifications. Mr. Guchero, have you understood the offenses with which you are charged? Please stand. Please stand, Mr. Guchero. There we are. Uh, we can't see you correctly now. And I would very much like to have to dispense you from rising to your feet on each occasion because I do need to be able to see you. So if I can't see, see you correctly, I would suggest that you remain seated. Do you understand? Thank you, Judge. I can do either of the two. But since, Judge, you are not seeing me, I can sit. Judge Alapini, yes, please uh, be seated, then I can see you properly. Thank you. So, I would like to reiterate my question from earlier. Have you understood the offenses with which you are charged? Honorable Lady Judge, I have understood the alleged offenses with which I have been charged. I have understood them. Je vous remercie. Judge Alapini, thank you. Honorable Lady Judge, I wish to confirm that on 6th, which is today, I signed a waiver for legal assistance uh, limited to today's appearance. So during today's appearance, I will be appearing in person. Thank you. Oui. Que Judge Alapini, that's what we heard, and we are happy for you to be confirming it here. This is your right at any moment in time. The allegations read out to me are not true. They are false. All of them, the six of them are false. And um, 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 uh, Honorable Judge, that is why I think uh, you have given us a timetable for confirmation, which I'm quite happy with, and which uh, the timetable is, is in order. On the issue of interim release, uh, Mr. Steinberg has requested that uh, he would want the court to go into a private session, so I will reserve my comments on that. And on the issue of whether the court should continue, the pretrial chamber should continue handling the matter in spite of the objection, I agree with the court. Judge, there is already an order 
there is already a ruling by the president of the pretrial chamber assigning this case to this court, that order has not been set aside. So as matters now stand, we are perfectly entitled to proceed before this court. I agree with your observation that this is an administrative issue. And so long as the order is still there, the right forum is this uh, particular chamber. Those are the observations I wish to make at this point. And thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gichero. Thank you, Your Honor. Merci, uh, Monsieur Gichero. Nous prenons bonne note. De thank you, Mr. Gichero. We take note of your observations. Mr. Gichero, I am addressing you once again. Do you have any observations to make as to the conditions of your surrender to the ICC and the conditions of your detention at the headquarters of the ICC in The Hague to, since your arrival. Please do not get to your feet because I still want to be able to see you when you answer. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. As to the conditions of surrender, I wish to confirm to the court that Honorable Judge, I surrendered myself to this court, to the Dutch authorities first, on 2nd of November 2020. This surrender was without coercion from anybody. It was voluntary. And I did so at my own expense, Honorable Judge. So it was a voluntary surrender. There was no threat. There was no coercion. On the conditions of detention, Honorable Judge, uh, the conditions, I have been treated quite well. I have no complaint as to the conditions. And the officers, uh, in charge of this particular facility and the Dutch authorities were very, very helpful. So I have no complaint whatsoever. Thank you, Judge. Je vous remercie. Thank you, Mr. Gishero. I would like to ask Mr. Gishero whether he has any uh, comments to make. Honorable Judge, I have comments to make. Oui, je vous entends. Oui, oui. Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Gishero. I have comments to make. Uh, Honorable Judge, you have touched on the issue of uh, the confirmation of hearing and also the charges were read out to me. Uh, uh, I was not, however, asked, and I wish this to go on record, that I do not intend to admit the charges under Article 65 so I wish to state, for purposes of clarity, that the allegations read out to me, Judge, uh, 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 I appreciate Mr. Steinberg's concern and I'm grateful to him. Uh, the decision Naturally, I have the right to either represent myself or be represented by counsel. I leave all the options open, and your ladyship, I appreciate the concern. That is an issue I will take up at the appropriate moment. 
Thank you. Only one uh, um, observation regarding the last issue which uh, Council Mr. Steinberg has dealt with. I similarly agree, as he does, that we can uh, separate the trials. And this is for the basic reason that we do not know when the other accused person will surrender if he will. And that is my position as at now. And I also agree with the observation by the court that we can file written observations to firm up our positions. Save for that, I think I do not have any other comment. Judge Alapini, I'd like to thank you very much, Mr. Gicheru. 